Being back home has been unbelievable to be playing in North America again. And, uh, you know, it's a lot of stuff like last year in Sweden, everything was spoken Swedish in between periods and the team meeting. So, I mean, you kind of just sat there and like bob your head, but you had no clue what was going on or what was being said. So, I don't know, it just makes it, it feels good to be back and have your home language and, uh, you know, be able to understand what's going on. It's, it's, it just makes you feel a lot more comfortable. Playing in Europe was, uh, for me, it was a totally different dynamic. It's it's, I mean, you're so far from home. Uh, for me, especially coming from where my, like my family didn't miss very many games. Uh, my mom and dad made a lot of the games, and I always had friends and stuff there. So the dynamic of never really having, I mean, I had my fiance at the game, but that's, I mean, there's certain, I went to back to Syracuse last week, and we had 400 people in the stands. So uh, it's, I was used to having that kind of support and uh, friends around. So being in Europe, it was just hard to be far from home. And yeah, like you said, the, uh, having national anthems not played, or it was just a different, weird uh, scenario. There's a ton of good things that came out of Europe as far as off the ice. You know, meeting my fiance in Latvia was a true blessing. You know, it's everybody's got to grow up eventually. <laughs> I think it took me a little longer than most, but uh, I've, you know, Marta's been a big part of my life and, and helped me uh, get on the right path and being supportive and making better decisions. <laughs> These are considered prime years in hockey, 29 to 33 is really, uh, so when I took a look in the mirror about where my career was in Europe, I, I just, you know, I said, let's go back and try. It wouldn't kill me. I mean, you know, my dream is playing the NHL, so to get to that level, I had to do what it took to get closer to the NHL. I wasn't going to get called up from Sweden, and I wasn't going to get called up from those leagues, so uh, I figured to come back to the NHL and then see what happens. If, if it works, it works. If not, it's at least like I say I took a shot at it. I got fortunate enough to have 114 games, and um, you know, it was nothing better than that. It was crazy. The travel was fun. The guys were fun. The league was I'm playing against the best players, and that's always a challenge as an athlete to play at the top level. So that's where I'm at. Like I said, I'm in my prime, so I want to challenge myself to be at the best level I can. And you know, if it's not possible, it's not possible. But at least I'm trying to get there. My favorite thing about being a hockey player would just be coming to the rink every day with with uh, 20 year buddies and playing a game. I mean, it's, we always have fun together. There's always good stories. You can constantly every day have a new guy to make fun of or laugh with or joke with. I mean, there's, you know, constant camaraderie. So uh, I know that's a big thing when guys quit hockey is you miss the locker room because it's t every day you get to come in and see 20 guys. And I don't know, it's pretty cool. You joke with each other. And then, you know, when you win together, that's nothing better than that either. It's, uh, you always hope to win together. But when you finally do, it, it just makes your bond that much tighter. Yeah, uh, you know, there's been a lot of fan support. I always got messages, and even when I was in Europe, I got fan mail from people from Mississauga and London, and uh, it always it gives you a nice little feeling of joy to have that feeling that people are still watching you and following your career. And like, Sometimes you go over to Europe, you feel like you're off the map because you're so far away from friends and family, so uh, the fan mail and stuff like that makes you still feel somewhat important and like people are still paying attention. My name is Rob Shrimp. I play center for the Portland Pirates. It's not the night for going out Whistling past the murder house On my march of days Till this whole town's ablaze Outside myself I stand appalled I drop the match your hopes light up like paper dolls As one goes so do I